Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Serpros. In this video, we're going to be looking into the world of cloud computing. We're going to be looking at what it is, how it works, and how you can get started for absolutely free. If you're new here, this channel uploads regular IT training videos just like this one. So if you like what you see here today, don't forget to smash that like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any new videos. Before we get started, I want to say a big thank you to Linode for sponsoring this video. Linode is the largest independent cloud provider and they make cloud computing really, really simple. We'll talk more about these guys later and how you can get started with cloud computing absolutely free. Okay, so before we start to understand cloud computing, we need to understand on-premise computing. On-premise or on-prem refers to physical computers and servers in your own office building. This is how computing has traditionally been done. Let's say you need a server. So you go out and you buy that server. You then need to install it, secure it, maintain it, and eventually decommission and replace it. All of which takes a lot of time and a lot of money. It also isn't very scalable. Let's say you develop a popular fitness app. Day to day, you have enough power to run your app. However, when January comes around and everyone joins the gym as part of their New Year's resolution, you predict you will need three times the computing power to cope with demand. So now you have two choices. One, do you stick with the server and potentially overwhelm the system? Or two, do you commit to purchasing additional expensive hardware to cope with the demand of a relatively small amount of time? It's a difficult decision to make, and it highlights a number of problems with on-premise solutions. Luckily for us, the days of relying on on-premise servers are coming to an end. Cloud computing can solve all of these problems and much, much more. So what is cloud computing? Cloud computing, at its core, is moving your physical server into someone else's office. At its most basic level, that is what cloud computing is. I hate to disappoint, but there's no magic cloud or data center in the sky. So what do I mean by moving your physical server into someone else's building? The idea behind cloud computing is we can pay a company to provide us with all of the computing power we need on a pay-as-you-go basis. This comes with a number of benefits. The upfront cost is dramatically reduced. We don't have to spend thousands up front, we just pay for what we use. Because the cloud provider owns the server, that means we don't have to install, maintain, or secure that hardware. That is all taken care of by the cloud provider. There's also the benefit of scalability. Take our fitness app, for example. With cloud computing, it's easy to add extra bandwidth, hardware, and resources as and when we need it. And once the January buzz has passed, we can easily scale back. Another benefit is security. These companies often have much higher budgets to protect your assets. Also, when it comes to uptime, data integrity, and so on, most cloud providers have multiple data centers. This ensures minimal downtime and maximizes data redundancy. So now we have a general idea of what cloud computing is. Now let's have a look at how it works. Cloud providers have invested in huge data centers that contain racks and racks of servers. Instead of renting out each server to customers, they use virtualization. Virtualization allows the cloud provider to be extremely efficient and flexible with their resources. Let's take one server for example. This server could have multiple virtual machines running. The virtual machine then has its own CPU and memory resources, its own storage, and its own operating system. The virtual machines are also connected to a virtual network that contains virtual switches, routers, and firewalls. By doing it this way, it's almost effortless to start virtual machines, shut them down, and move them to another server. And all of this can be done with little to no human interaction. I've been using the term cloud provider a lot. 
So now let's talk about who some of these cloud providers are. There are three main cloud providers, and they are Amazon Web Services, or AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. When working in an enterprise, these are the ones you're likely to encounter. Although these options are very comprehensive, they also come with a very steep learning curve. In fact, people create their whole careers around just one of these providers. And I personally have friends that are doing this and are very successful in doing so. If you're just getting started with cloud, there is a much simpler option. And this is where our sponsor comes in. Linode was one of the first cloud computing providers, even before AWS was around. They provide services from Linux machines to VPNs, game servers, and much, much more. Linode makes cloud computing very, very easy with everything being just a few clicks away. They have a really simple flat monthly fee. This means you know exactly what you're spending. Another great benefit is Linode offers 24-7, 365 phone and email support with every plan. This is invaluable when you're first getting started. This support service will usually cost you quite a bit extra from other providers. So to get you started, the team at Linode are giving you all $100 of free credit to start spinning up machines and learning about cloud computing. Use the link below in the description or go to linode.com forward slash serpros to get your free credit. Okay, so that was a general look at what cloud computing is and how it works. Now let's look at some of the cloud computing services that are available to us. Cloud computing can be split into two categories, private and public. Private clouds describe everything we have already discussed, virtualization, automation, scalability, and redundancy, but this is all owned and controlled by one organization for their own personal use. For example, an enterprise might build its own private cloud for its in-house development team to use. Public cloud refers to public-facing companies that offer cloud computing as a service. Companies such as Azure, AWS, and Linode are all public cloud companies. The public cloud can also be categorized into different types of services that are available. I'll go through some of the most popular ones. They are Infrastructure as a Service, or IaaS, Software as a Service, or SaaS, and Platform as a Service, or PaaS. Let's start with Infrastructure as a Service. This is probably the first thing that comes to mind when talking about cloud computing. It's taken traditional computing, such as your computer, switches and routers, and hosting it in the cloud. You can create, or spin up as is often described, virtual machines in a matter of minutes. You have control over the hardware specs, storage space, the operating systems, and all of the applications you install, just like you would a normal computer. Next, we have software as a service, which you may not know, but you use all of the time. SaaS gives you access to the software or application only. The cloud provider takes care of all of the hardware, the operating system, and everything else behind the scenes. Gmail, Office 365, Dropbox, and Salesforce are all considered software as a service. You have access to the application, but nothing behind the scenes. Lastly, we have Platform as a Service. Platform as a Service focuses on providing a platform where developers can build, deploy, and scale their applications. It does this by providing on-demand, purpose-built environments without needing to think about all of the infrastructure behind the scenes. Examples of Platform as a Service is Azure App Service and Google App Engine. Okay, so that was the theory. Before we end this video, I want to show you a quick demo of spinning up a cloud-based virtual machine. I'm going to be using Linode for this example, but the concepts are pretty much the same for all providers. So the first thing you need to do is click on the link in the description and sign up to Linode. This will give you $100 free credit to play around with. Once you sign in, you can click the Create Linode button here in the center. Then we just need to choose your operating system. 
then the region. So London, UK would be closest to me. And then we just need to choose the plan. I'm just going to go with the basic four gigabyte plan. Scroll a little bit further down and it asks us to set the root password. So I'll just type something in here. And if you want to, it gives you the option to add SSH keys, attach a VLAN and set backups. But I'm just going to go ahead and click create the node. Then it takes us to the provisioning screen. And after a few minutes, this should change to running. And after just a few minutes, we can see it's running and you now have your very own cloud computing virtual machine. You can open up the console by clicking this button at the top right. And once it loads, go over to the Glitch tab, where we can log in using the password we set. And just for a bit of fun, I went to the marketplace and span up a Counter-Strike GO server with just a few clicks. Now, please don't judge me. I haven't played this game in years. That's it for cloud computing. You should now have a solid understanding of what it is and the benefits of using it. This video is part of the full CCNA course. If you like this video, then check out the full course in the description. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. The support from you guys really does help this channel grow. Other than that, thank you for watching.